Hey, I'm Michelle Crafty Surveys. Just gonna check if my microphone is working here. And Cash, he's not dressed up today. Happy Halloween. Come say hi. Let me know you're out there. Let me see if this is gonna work. All right, let's see if we can hear something. All right, let's see if yes. we can hear something. Working, say hi. Tell me what you're dressing up as today. Hello, Paula. You gonna come say hi? Cash saying hi. Thank you, Paula. So we're doing a Dollar Tree craft today. A pallet craft. A snowman craft, but it's not like the ones you've been seeing. So it's I think it's completely different. I haven't seen one like this. So we're gonna do that. Oh, Judy, we're back in the hospital again. Well, I'm glad you made it on. I hope you're doing better prayers for your healing. Hello, Joanne and Sandy. You were a ghost yesterday. See, we were able to dress up at work today, but I don't work today. So you got me. Hello, Vicki. So I also am cutting, well, I'm cutting one new kit today. I've got one that I didn't show you. I think that that's already in, but the new one today is not. I'll come on later and paint that one on a live. That one's really, really cute. But I can show you that now if you want. So, but today we're using the palette. And you would want probably six of the Jenga blocks. And then it's, it's really all, everything you could get at Dollar Tree, honestly. So, um, all right, we're going to start painting right away just to get painting. And then I can show you the kit after. So you've all seen these at Dollar Tree. So we're using Jenga blocks, Dollar Tree. Now, the snowman that you see a lot is usually like one snowman. You've got them all the way across. And then you got a hat and stuff like that. We're doing four little mini snowmen on here all together. So um, we're going to lay them out a little bit. So it's going to be laying something like this. All right. And we're going to, I'm laying them on there just so I can see how I'm going to paint them after I actually, I should paint it black to start. Hello, Linda. Thank you. All right. Let me just get out my black paint here. We're going to paint this all black. We're going to paint four of these black and we're going to get full of paint today. So I'm just using lamp black, deco art lamp black. Use whatever you have. So this is going to be sort of a cute, let me get this out of the way, a cute rustic sort of mini snowman. Oh man, there we are. All right, make sure you're saying hi as you come on. Let me know you're out there. Let me know if you dress up for Halloween or what you're dressing up as if you do. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting though. We're gonna paint the whole thing black. Um, 
you don't have to do the back. It depends where you're going to have it sitting. I'm not going to do the back. But you do want to get those slats in between. You do want to get them. So get that brush in there. Whatever brush you have, that will work. Yeah, doing snowmen on Halloween, Maureen. You got to transition. And you know what? I'm doing this as snowmen, but if you're still into fall, do this as scarecrows. You can do that. Would work just fine. You just have to tweak little things. Don't make it look like a snowman face. Faces. Like I said, the, the ones I always see is just a single snowman with these palettes, but we're making four snowmen. Itchy. All right, and just get in between, paint it all black. It doesn't have to be the best of coat of black. And black usually covers everything. We can get away with one coat on here. Like I said, just make sure you get in between the slats and that little slat on the inside because you'll see that. Happy Halloween, Rita. Um, it could work as ghosts. It could work as ghosts. You just have to be a little more creative. It absolutely, it, it would. I mean, I picture um, the snowmen. Like I said, it's not your normal snowman that you see. We're doing something a little different. We're doing little mini snowmen. And then, um, and I picture you could do that same type with, Scarecrows, if you're still into your fall. And you know, you probably could do ghosts. You just have to be a little more creative. I could probably come up with something with that. But I'm done. I'm done with all of that after today. Well, not even today. What's your weather like? We have had crazy um, weather. So earlier this week, like yesterday and the day before, we hit, I believe it was probably 80 degrees. Again, we are the end of October in Wisconsin. That's not normal. So we were at 80 degrees. It was crazy windy, but it was so nice to step out. And I stepped out during a 15 minute break at work just to do a fast walk in it because it was so nice and then we got rain last night finally we needed it so bad and we got three and a half inches of rain and now it's cooler today and it's supposed to get super windy this afternoon again all right just make sure it's painted all the way in between you don't want to see any of that and then we're going to do these jingle blocks hello amanda how are you See, I couldn't dress up at work, so I thought I had to dress up on here. <laughs> Otherwise, I could have wore this to work, right? Thank you, Joanne. Do you like the purple? Do you like my earrings, by the way? I had, I had all this from last year. Look at my earrings. All this is from last year. Oh, the ghosts would be cute peeking up behind a fence. They would be. All right, and you don't have to do the back of, of those, but you're going to get full of paint doing it. Unless you want to just do half at a time, go for it. And then do the other half, dry it up, do the other half. But I don't mind getting a little paint on me. Thank you, Linda. Tell Deanne I said hi, too. 
What are, what are you guys dressed as? I have work people on here today. Dan never comes on my lives, so she said she was going to peek in sometime. I didn't know she'd do that at work. You're carving a pumpkin, Rita? What are you carving? Just a, a regular face on there, like a jack-o'-lantern face? And do you eat the seeds? Do you, do you dry them and eat the seeds? Oh, Judy dressed up as a hospital patient. You know, that's funny, but not funny because you said you just got out of the hospital. I hope you heal this time. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> I told you guys, I told Deanne and Kit yesterday that I wanted pictures of you guys. Do you love the earrings? Aren't they? They're just... Yeah. They're, they're just fabulous. I think they were like a TJ Maxx last year or something like that. And I said, everything I had here is last year, the year before. Just put it all together. All right, got everything painted black. Clean up a little bit. Hello, Joyce, how are you? So this is going to be like rustic little snowmen, but they'll be fun. If you don't have a Dollar Tree, you could do the same thing with popsicle sticks um, and just put them together like one of these pallets, you know, put, put them across like that, put them up and down and then across. You could do the exact same thing. So if you don't have a Dollar Tree or if your Dollar Tree doesn't have the pallets, which sometimes ours doesn't. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Ooh, you're Lucy. Oh, that's cute, Paula. Aw, oh, thank you. Is that, I'm, I'm thinking that's Rita. I missed two, who sent the stars? Let me just, thank you, Rita. I appreciate that. All right, let's dry these up and we'll move on. At the end, if you want to see the newest kit that I'm cutting today, stick on. It's, it's so cute. It's so cute. Remember my snowman that had all the different layers and that one was really cute? This is even cuter. It's actually a wall hanging or it can be a shelf sitter. No pumpkin carving of, oh, a pumpkin carving of Lucy. Oh, I got it. That's got to be hard. Do you have a pattern? Didn't you used to be able to buy those patterns you put right on the pumpkin and then cut it out? I got it. I'm a little slow, Rita, but I got it now. Oh, Marine. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, okay, you guys. Um... I should start a post later for let me see your Halloween costume. I want to see pictures, even of your grandkids and kids. I want to see pictures. My grandkids came this weekend. Um, we had it in St. Nazian's here um, on Sunday. And they have it in the bigger the, uh, a city near here with their other grandparents tonight. So they, they always do it on Halloween. So I'll start that post later. I want to see your pictures. So make sure you take pictures if you're dressing up. Maybe, yeah, I'll start it later. All right, we got all that. Now we, we're going to put these aside. We're, um, we're pretty well done with them. We'll, we'll work on them with a little bit later. Now we're going to grab our white. I'm using vintage white because I want this to look a little bit rustic again. It's going to look rustic, all right? But they're going to be cute snowmen. So this is vintage white. Um, this is folk art. You can get warm white and deco art. It's not quite as, this has almost like a tinge of 
yellow but not quite there's buttermilk is more yellow there's all different kinds just use what works for you you can use a straight white if you want tell rita tell allison i said hi i just want to know what you're all dressed up as amanda all right so we're just going to take Okay, I have a Dollar Tree brush. We'll use this one. I'll use one that's already wet. These Dollar Tree brushes, this is, you know, honestly almost all Dollar Tree that I'm using today. Um, you can use these Dollar Tree brushes like this. It works really good for rustic kind of paint. You could also use a chip brush or just really a dry brush. Um, but, I mean, we're going to get enough on here. We're gonna do the whole thing, but then we're gonna create the hat after. So we'll end up painting black on the top again where the hats are, but I don't know at what point it's gonna cross for that. You're the only dressed up witches, Amanda. Nobody else even dressed up? Did anybody wear t-shirts even? I would have dressed up today. They gave us permission. Okay, I'm getting, when you do use these Dollar Tree brushes though, you do get brush bristles on here. That should be my new norm, Allison. Allison, maybe, maybe I should get tattoos like you too. That should be my new norm, right? purple hair and tattoos you tell her that all right so there we got this is going to be black up here but at different points I just have extra down on the bottom here you're not going to see the bottom so it doesn't matter I think that's enough white And if you want these to be not quite as rustic, you can certainly fill it all in in white. That would be fine. <laughs> you have a t-shirt, Rita? All right. Okay, we're going to dry this up, and we're going to start painting our faces. All right, so just to know where we're gonna lay this, I wanna make sure they're not wet on the bottom. Just to know where we're gonna lay these, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna lay these on because I've gotta paint black above them. So we're gonna have, that's gonna be a snowman. We're gonna do a littler snowman down here. We'll do a snowman up here. Um, we'll just, I want them each slanted a little bit different and then this one here and each one a little bit different size so i'm going to go back and take my black again now it says forever spooky hubby made design oh awesome all right so as you got them laying on there i'm just going to lift them as we go <laughs> extra paint that i didn't need and just paint this top and that's going to go on like that let's do this one i'm just going to draw a line and i just want it behind here it doesn't have to be perfect that's just so i know where i'm gonna lay my hat band Okay, again, make sure as you're coming on, say hi. Let me know you're out there. 
if you see that red live button, you know you got me live. Otherwise, you're watching a replay. All right, so those are our hats. Got that. I think that's all I need the big black for. Let's just dry these up, and we're going to start on the faces. We're going to lay these back on just to see placement of the faces again. And they're easy faces, very easy. Oh, that'd be perfect, Linda. How many of you can get these palettes at your Dollar Trees? I know some of you don't have Dollar Trees by you, though. Maybe Joanne, Joan, Joan, I'm sorry. Hello, Denise, happy Halloween. All right, so let's just look at this again. We're going to do that, this this and this all right these are our mini snowmen we're going to take the blush first and then we'll add noses so now you got to go get some right if you don't have any these were down in my stash i said this is all dollar tree today other than if you don't have paint at your dollar tree i mean we even have paint at our dollar tree i don't buy it but it could be all dollar tree all right, and, and you can even use blush from your Dollar Tree. Okay, I'm just making cheeks, so I'm using blush. Just with a Q-tip goes on really, really nice. Okay. And you, you don't have to do them a perfect circle. I use mine a little bit more oblong, up and down. That's that one. This one will be here. Now some of this, especially this one, I think, you're not going to see much of the nose. That's all right. Because the other one will be covering it up some. Thank you, Debbie. Same to you. Happy Halloween to everybody. Oh, thank you. I can but it is probably cheaper to make them. But yeah, you can absolutely make them with um, popsicle sticks. Yeah, absolutely. You can do it with the popsicle sticks. Like I said before, if you just use them and use the popsicle sticks across the back, it will work the same thing. It'll work the same. And I would use the jumbo sticks, though. You can get them at Dollar Tree, too. All right. So let's just do some orange. Now, I've got textured orange here. This is terracotta, um, terracotta paint by Folk Art. It's got a little texture to it. You're not going to notice it. This color is clay pot. Use whatever orange you have. We'll do that, and I'm just going to add over a little bit. I'm going to just take this is red clay, same thing, it's the terracotta. Again, you're really not going to see that texture. It'd probably be easier to paint the noses without the texture, honestly, but it's what I have out. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're just doing like carrot noses. You could do circle noses. I had a bunch of these downstairs, like from my cuts, my laser cuts. You could do that. That would be cute noses. Um, I even have some of these. These were like hat, hat toppers. That would be a cute nose too. Um, use what you have. Okay, so this one, and this is thicker paint if you don't like it that thick either. Yeah, don't have if you don't have this kind, which you don't need it. Just take whatever kind you have. Um, so I'm just gonna paint facing this way. Okay. 
I'll paint this one maybe facing this way towards me. Let's do this one because I'm not sure how much of the nose you're going to be able to see with these going across. We're going to do this one. Let me just see. You know, we could do this one facing this way. If we don't see it, I'll just draw one out. You couldn't recognize me, Mary Lou. I have my beautiful purple hair on today. How are you? Thank you for all those hearts and exclamation points. Okay, that one, and then we'll do another one facing this. Um, let's see. I just feel like I want one up like they're looking up. Do I want that? No. I'm going to paint this one a, a little one. And we'll give it a little curly end. So each one will look a little bit different. I'm good. Yeah, reader, this year our trick or treaters were not as much as normal. There, there weren't as many as normal. There, I mean, there were enough, but just not, not what it normally is, which was unusual. All right, then I'm just gonna take. A little bit of the darker. Um, this is called the red clay. This is the difference between the two. Can you see that? All right, and I'm just gonna just try and wipe it on a little. The paint is a little wet yet. Hello, Amy. You love purple. My granddaughter is a big fan of lavender right now, light lavender. All right, there's the noses. Um, we could put little tiny lines maybe coming down. Let's just wet this paint a little. The paint is just so thick, that terracotta kind. Do little lines on the top. If we wanted, we could put a little highlighting in the nose too, but I don't have that out. We'll just do it like this. All right, so let's see where we're going again. Yeah, we're not going to see much of that nose. Let me adjust it. We'll see some of it though. All right. So now we're going to, let's lay these on here. Orange is already pretty dry. I'm going to lay that on here and we're going to do hat brims. So let's just get a brush out. You can make them the size. Each family would be two sets of three, one set of four. Yep, exactly, Maureen. You can definitely do that. All right, so for the snowman, um, the hats, I'm going to put brims on them. So I, this is like one of my new favorite colors, this thicket. 
I have actually two here, I think, that are sort of my favorite. You got the Thicket. We're going to do Villa Green. We're going to do Sea Glass. This is a Deco Art one. Should we just do... I was going to do like a blue. Let's mix this blue with a little bit of that thicket just to make a different color. It really didn't make much. It made it a little bit lighter. All right, so hat rims. Let's start with the thicket up here. And what I'm just eyeballing where that is, I can go under that hat, but I want to make sure the top of the hat is very even. The bottom doesn't matter. But the top, but the bottom, the hat brim, you're going to see that on there. All right, so we got that one. Hello, Dahlia. Um, let's do this one. So pick that up. Again, it's the top that's going to be important that it's even. Under the hat, it doesn't matter. All right, this one is going like that, I believe. So let's do this color. This was the mix between that thicket and sea glass, I think. And we'll put a little bit of greenery up above these hats too, so you're not going to see all of this either. Okay, and then let's use this other green here. This one doesn't cover very well. We'll need a couple coats. Happy Halloween, Sandy. Hello, Kathy. How are you guys? Gonna dry that up and give it one more coat. It's a little warm under my purple hair and hat. We had that wind yesterday, Rita, the last two days, and we're supposed to get it again this afternoon. It's supposed to be 45 mile an hour winds. So yeah, it's just been really unusual, but it's cooler today. Last two days it was 80 degrees. <laughs> crazy, crazy. And then we got our Kathy up in Alaska who has been getting snowstorms. Okay, I'm just going to add a little green in here just to darken it up a little. There, that just darkened it up a little bit. There we go. Yes, Kathy. Hello. Thank you. You too. All right. So we got them. Let's do, let's do the eyes right away, okay? And then we can dry them with the eyes and the buttons. I'm just gonna use the back of a paintbrush. This one will work, let me just look. We're just gonna use black. Okay, so we're gonna Do 
just use the back of the paintbrush for the eyes. And we're going to do the same for the buttons, but we're going to make them a little bigger. All right, and then let's do these buttons. Well, you just use the back again to make it easy for you. They don't have to be perfect because coal is not perfect. But if you want to use the brush, if you want to use paint markers, they would work just fine. Um, I think we'll give this little one just two. I'm going to do a little highlighting on these two just to make them um, make it look a little more rustic and I think it'll add sort of a touch. Okay, let's do that one and that one. Okay, and then we're going to dry that up, but that's so far. It'll be perfect, and I've got Jenga blocks to put on the back so that it'll sit really nice. So I'll show you how I put them on, too. Thank you, Joan. I just see it's all done. I think it's going to be really cute, and I'm going to add some highlighting and... That'll make a difference too. It'll just, they'll be sort of rustic, but they'll be really cute. If you don't like how these hang over, you can cut them shorter if you want. If you have a saw, that can do them, right? And because I use the back of a paintbrush, the dots are pretty thick of paint, so it takes a little bit for them to dry. So you have to be careful with that. Same with the uh, buttons. It's going to take a little bit. All right, so let's just do a little bit of highlighting then. Um, we're going to use Sable Brown, the Deco Art Sable Brown. All right, again, I want to see where my hat brims are going to be. Just going to pick up a little of that Sable Brown. And brush across. I have to be careful because it's right by the eyes on this one. Oops. It's got to be down further. You might want to let the eyes dry a little more. I'm just going to be trying to be careful. And we're just adding that line. It doesn't matter that you go up higher because you won't see it. And then we'll do a little bit under the noses and under the buttons, too. All right. That's where we're at. Once you glue them on, it's going to look really, really cute. Okay, let's go a little under these noses. And can you see that on the first one? It just made, It does add a little something. Go. 
going to go under each one. It, this is what's going to make it look a little more rustic, a little more primitive with this color under here. If you're not good at doing it or you say you're not good, you have to just practice. Um, then just don't do this part of it. Okay, I'm also going to do it under the buttons and I'll show you the difference again. Remember, it's just paint you're using, so you can always paint over it if you don't like it. Okay, so look at on that first one, and then look at on the others. So it does make a difference when you add that little bit of color under it. And if you get too much, just wet your brush and take it out. You can just wet your brush and take it off too. Or blend it in a little more. Actually, when you just wet your brush, you can wipe that off. As long as you do it right away. Hello, Sharon. Is it morning by you yet? It's, oh, it's just afternoon here now. Are you going trick-or-treating? The grandkids actually had the trick-or-treating here in town on a Sunday. So that was Sunday. And then they go by their other grandma and grandpa tonight. They have it in their city on um, right on Halloween. Ours is always the Sunday before, and it's always during the day. Again, this is rustic, so it's okay that it's not perfect. You'll see it's not perfect. This highlighting and shading, you really don't want it to be either. You want it to be a little more primitive. Okay, then I'm going to put a line up on the top of the hat brims, too. Okay, Sharon. Hello, Kathy. Thank you. Did you just wake up, Kathy? All right, let's just do... I'm just doing on the top of this hat brim. Adds, adds a little cute. Okay, I think that's all the highlighting like that that we need. Yes, we had rain. We had three and a half inches of rain last night, Kathy. It was wonderful. We needed it. Goodbye, Denise. Yeah, if somebody asks where this is, yes, these are mini palettes from the Dollar Tree. But I did give the suggestion that if you don't have a Dollar Tree, use your like your jumbo popsicle sticks. You could put them together like this and just put across one like that. And you could do the same thing. All right. And these are Jenga blocks from a Dollar Tree. This is all Dollar Tree, really. Most everything is Dollar Tree. All right. So these will be going on like this. I'm just looking to see if I want to do that now. I think I might want to. So go up there. This will go down here. This will go here. See, some of their noses are hidden. It's okay. It's going to go like that. But we're not done yet. All right, we're not done yet. But that's how we're going to do it. I think we are going to put this on, though. Happy Halloween, Charlene. So if you guys didn't tell me before, even if you did, tell me how you're dressing up, if you dress up. If you dress up, or if you don't, and then what are you, um, I'm just gonna put this on here. 
what are you going to be if you do dress up? I can't imagine being that cold already, Kathy, but I know you've had snowstorms already, like major snowstorms. All right, this is where we're at so far. We're going to make them cute, though. We're going to add some snow on here. Just put that up a little bit. Up on there. Let that dry. I'm going to just turn these angles a little so they're not exactly the same. on each one. Okay, so I really want them to dry. And then I've got this that I'm gonna be adding in, like as part of the brim. I could probably do that now. So this is just like raffia twine. This is one thing that I isn't at the Dollar Tree, I don't think. I got it from Timu. Like, a year ago. That's the only, my only order I ever got from Timo was like a year ago. I never went back on. But I'm just going to glue half brims on right above that color. This will be easier with the hot glue. Did anybody see this post that I did with the hot glue gun? I love this. I just got it from Amazon. I could get you a link for it. Um, I needed one that had a cord. I mean, I do love my cordless too, but I'm always, I always struggle with them because either they leak or whatever, you know, and this has 60 watt and 100. Um, I've got it down on 60 right now because the 100 was burning hot. Okay, so we got that one on. We're going to do each one of them. Grandma, along with a psycho doctor, dead nurse, a cheerleader, and a princess. That's priceless. That's awesome. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, so we're gonna, that one's going to go in there. Try and get that down in there. It shouldn't be this difficult. But I wanted to wait until I had that brim on to do this. Oh, this one is coming off a little. You can definitely put it together with um, hot glue too. these um the hat brims so that they stay in place Rita all of a sudden your comment is really grayed out I can read it but it's grayed out yeah, this one's coming off. This one I'm going to have to hot glue on. You wouldn't have to. It's just that I want to keep going on this. And the other glue would definitely dry. Let's just do a dab. Oh. It's pretty stuck, actually. 
All right, now it's not going to go anywhere. As a little old lady, Kathy. Do you go trick or treating like at night? You know, most of you are yours all like on Halloween night. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's okay, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you. Dollar Tree crafts are always so nice, aren't they? Especially we can make them really super cute. Like I said, you don't have to do have these palettes, though. You could do it with popsicle sticks. Make your own. Okay, this one is this is gonna be a little tricky getting here. No trunk or treat. All of our churches. Oh, they do that a lot around here, too. The problem using the 60 watt is you get all these strings. Yeah, ours is always on the Sunday before, and it's always from 2 until 4. And then there's a community near here that the kids all go to after, where they do theirs from 4 to 6. And then they could go to the bigger places. There's a lot of communities around here that do it right on Halloween, too. So they could, they could hit a lot of them. So far, we're almost done. We're just gonna we're gonna add some green. We're gonna add some snow. We're gonna add some jute. Hello, Patricia. All right, I'm not even insulted by that comment. <laughs> not at all. All right, we're gonna do a couple, just a couple, I think, down here. Just to add some cute again. Um, I'm gonna keep it above here because we're gonna add these Jenga blocks to make it make it stand. So we're gonna do right above that, and then we can shift it a little on the front. Thank you. Isn't it me? I'm just going to shift that a little. All right, there we are so far. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Take up just a little bit of black. I don't think you'll need much. And run it along these edges. You don't need to do it up on the, on the black. But see, when you do it on the edges again, over there, you can see, you can even get it in between. Here's some. It just adds that little more rustic touch. And do some bottom. All right, let's add the greenery. You know what, we're going, oh, I have to, um, I've got these bells, but I don't want them shiny again. Let me go get my lighter.
if you want to see my newest kit, stick on. Because as soon as we're done, I'll show you my newest one that's cutting today. It's not in my Etsy shop yet. I will do that after I'm done here. Here's, is me a riding hood? I've done many costumes. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to start a post later about your costume. Okay. So I want to make sure, though, that I don't get this on fire. We're going to set that aside. Now, if you didn't see, what did I make the other day? I made something the other day that used these bells. I don't even remember what it was. Oh, that snowman, felted snowman ornament. These bells are from Hobby Lobby, but you can get bells at Dollar Tree. I think I want these little ones out of here. We'll do some of this size too, just in case. I don't need the big ones. Just in case. So I've got little and big. And I'll show you how I make them so they're not shiny. You can paint them too. But we're going to show you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I've got, I used a fork the other day. <laughs> but I've got this little skinny stylus too. Now this will get hot. So you have to be careful not to be touching on that. You know, when, when you're done, you have to just make sure... You're not touching on it to wipe it, wipe it off. I'm just seeing, I think that stylus will fit on here. Now I'll show you the difference. Now look at the difference. Look at how, I'll just show you a big one. Look at how shiny that is. Look at this one now. But don't touch this now either. Don't touch it. Be careful putting this back on so that you don't touch it. Whatever you have that that'll fit in. You might have to put it, let's see if it'll fit in one of those little holes. You don't want to use the toothpick. I was going to say you use the toothpick, but no, you don't. That'll burn. There, that one will fit. Is that the one I did? No. Yeah, I probably would want water, but look at how nice and, and toasty that gets. It doesn't smell good, so do it in a wide open area. Again, this gets really hot, so be careful so you're not touching on this. And smell good. That one I know is too tight. Let's try this again. Oh, that works. It's just burning that finish off. Doesn't that go good with this costume? All right, so I've got four of them. Ooh. I have four of that color. Let me just do, let me just see. So I've got this little piece of green. I used this the other day too on something. If 
I put that on here. I'm not going to glue it yet. I will. Which one's not hot? And I put a little bell there. I can't tell if I'm going to put that bell or if I'm going to put this bell. Let's do both just in case. It works so good. <laughs> it works so good. On this one, it's just burning the paint off is what it's doing or charring the paint. I can't even look at the difference. It's probably bending my stylus. I used a fork the other day for this size. you see that? This is just a stylus. Or are you talking about this? This is just a lighter. This is just a stylus that you can paint with how I do dots. I used a fork the other day. But this is just a lighter. You can get this. At, this, I think, I get mine at Dollar General. Up by the checkouts. Just do it in air. Okay, that's four of each, and that way I can tell. Oh, I also have these little stars. I could put a couple of them on. That I don't even have to paint them. They are actually in the kit I'm using today, but that would be cute. I could put maybe just one of them on top. Um, I'll need to get a button out too, though. Okay, so let's do the greenery, and then we'll do the snow on it. The greenery and the bells. So let's just stick. I want something that you're not going to see, so we're going to use this and see if we can make it work. We're probably going to need the hot glue to make it stick quicker okay. I think those big bells might be too big Oh, the little bells are perfect. And I can put that. <laughs> it works perfect. Okay, I'm just going to touch it on the hot glue.
there's one. I feel like this green is too big though. Bell stuck on me. Yeah, that green was just too big. Because these are little snowmen, so we need just little. Just stick that in there like that. And then let's put the bell on. Thank you, Rita. We like treats. Be better doing this with a tweezer. Everything went fast up to this point. You probably don't need a be uh, greenery on every one of them, though, either. Let's just see. add snow on them yet after we get these hats decorated thank you grace how are you grace you want to drop your page link go for it she's my wicked alter ego what was that post the other day that you were on too where you had to type something and it told whether you were a witch or not. I wasn't. You were. What was that? <laughs> that was too funny when I saw that. I don't know. Is there a trick behind it? How you make, make you come up as a witch? All right. We're getting there. Like, these bells, I think, have to be where the bottom is showing. There, I like that better. It has to be a trick, Grace. Although I am the angel, right? Huh? Thank you, Laura. Okay, I just have to, it, a tweezer probably would work better for this, holding on somehow. Let's just try one more time. My fingers are too big to go in between here. Yeah, that'll have to be good enough. So Grace, again, put your, you know, even if you want to put your Etsy page there. I don't mind. Grace does laser cuts. Like, not, not 
get the, we, I don't think we ever get the same laser cuts, do we? So Grace is a sweet friend of mine. I met through Magnolia. And I adore her. Okay. Thank you. All right, last one. Like I said, this is sort of tedious just because these bells are so tiny. They can't have the big bells. I thought maybe we could do the big ones, but we can't. Okay, got that. Now we're going to, I think, just have to add the snow. Let's, let's add one of these stars up here. And we got to add a button. This is like a button star, though. It has two little dots. And remember, make sure you stick on. You should be commenting so that I might draw your name for a random act of kindness drawing, too. Okay, that's cute. Now we'll just add a little button, and then we'll add the snow. Um, and then I'll show you the kit that I cut today. It's really cute. It's just not in my shop yet. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, we are totally different, but weirdly the same, right, Grace? We have so much in similar, but so different. All right, let's just get a tiny little... I actually had a little ghost button, but I think that would stand out too much. I just need a tiny one again. Remember I was looking for a tiny the other day? Here's a tiny one. All those tiny ones sink down here. There's one, there's one, there's one. There's a tiny one. That one is perfect. And then we're going to start doing the snow on here. And we'll be done. Oh, I got to put the Jenga blocks. We can do that before I do the snow. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Joyce. I appreciate that. All right. So just two Jenga blocks. I'm going to adhere them on the back so that it stands. But I'm going to use, again, so I can shift it a little bit, I'm going to use this three-in-one. On the top of this one. And then I can hold it, and it doesn't take long to dry. See how I just have it there? We're going to just lay these on here like this. And what I'm going to do is just hold it. And I'm even slanting it back a little. Just to see where it is and then just make sure they're lined up I think we'll be good to go on them and then we just got to do some snow we'll let that dry so that's all I'm doing to get that as a shelf sitter let's start adding the snow all this glue that's again when you do 60 water on that glue gun that's what you get with any glue gun make sure it's gonna yeah that'll see how that'll stand all right, let's just get the, we're going to get this vintage white out again. No, the Grands were um, here in our town on Sunday. Ours is always the Sunday before Halloween. Thank you, Vicki. All right, so I'm just going to use... Just a little flat brush like that and just dab in that same vintage white again. I'm just going to be adding some snow in places. Can you see that? I'll even add some up here. And just dab just 
just down. And I'll put a little on that star. It just it doesn't that just make it? You can even add a little on this greenery if you want. Let me do that. We'll add a little on the buttons too. Pretty good for a Dollar Tree palette, right? This is a Dollar Tree paint palette and Dollar Tree um, Jingle Box. That's it. Turned out pretty cute. I think that's even enough on there. Okay, now we're just going to put um, a little on these buttons. And you can see I'm um, just adding. There, that's that should be it, I think. Pretty cute. Oh no, Laura. Oh gosh. Diamond dust would be really cute too, Jane. It really would be. So yeah, Dollar Tree palette. If you don't have a Dollar Tree or they don't have the palettes, just take those jumbo popsicle sticks and put them together and just put the popsicle sticks across the top so that it, it's or across the back. So it's like that too. So, um, but yeah, super cute, super cute. Thank you. So make sure you stay for the random act of kindness. If you want to see the newest kit I'm adding into my shop later today, I will show that. I got two kits laying here. One of them I didn't show on a live, but I posted it last week. But then I'll show you the one that I'm, and I'll come on live and do the one that I'm cutting today. I love it. It's so cute. If you love snowmen, you'll love it. So, all right, there we go again. Screenshot. So go get those palettes or get your popsicle sticks out and you can make it work. All right. Okay. So let's do random act of kindness drawing. And then anybody that wants to stick on and see the newest kits, I'll stick on. Okay. Uh, Laura Carter, private message me your mailing address. I'll get you happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. All right. We got to let that snow dry. Let me show you this kit. It's super, super cute. And I, like I said, I will come on later. And let's get the paint out of the way. I will come on later and paint this one. So this is the one I'll paint later. Actually, I got three here I can show you. Two of them I added last week, but I did not show you, I don't think, on a live so you can see how big they are. Because that's that's deceiving of what you get. Because, you know, when you have the higher prices, it, it is deceiving. But, I mean, when it uses, it uses actually a lot. Let's let's show you what you got. You're welcome, Laura. All right. So this is the one I'll be doing later. I'll show you that one last. This one is cute. It's just a snowman sled. I'm going to put this up here so it doesn't get snow on things. So... You'll get this, and you get the second piece so that you can make it look like a sled. You get this snowman. The top. Get your scarf. Your holly, hat brim, 
snowflake buttons. Snow, nose, and a heart. We should put the heart on his on that side. Okay, that's the sled. So that would be a shelf sitter. <laughs> All right, that's a shelf setter. I also have smaller sleds. It's a pack of three: a gingerbread, a the snowman, and um a reindeer that are ornaments so that those are a three pack of those all right so got this this one is cute too this one you could do i would do this one like with scrapbook paper and make these socks super cute um with scrapbook paper this is a wall hanging so you would have that get these cute socks I have so much here, don't I? Okay, it looks like they don't hang on, but they do. Just wait. So here's the toppers that you just have a little bit above, and you can attach them like with ribbon, with jute. If you have your the rings, you want wire rings, you could do that. Uh, just wire and wrap it um, so that would make cute, cute like that. And then it comes the stockings were hung. Yeah, aren't the socks cute? I think I'm putting them the right way so you can read them. Okay, and then we got a little, little holly here. Okay, so the stockings were hung. A snowflake there. Uh oh. Oh, there's more. See, I'm missing some. You could put this is like a piece of candy, your peppermint candies. This is your, I think, goes there. No. That's extra. You could do that on there, and this one goes in there. Okay, I gotta hold it up here because it's not all together. So that's a really super cute kit. And then I'll show you the one that I'm gonna come on live later and paint. I think it'd be really cute, you know, putting the wire through and then twirl it like around a paintbrush or something so you get those twirls on the front of the top of that and that, that would be super cute. Thank you, Lila, I appreciate that. <laughs> right it's, it's it's very it's very very and do you like my earrings all right this is the one i'll paint later i'm live this is cutting today and i'll be putting it in the shop shortly so this you got that out pieces out it'll be easier but this one is super super cute and it could be a shelf sitter or a wall hanger and that little star this is I had an extra star so that's what I had that I put on my little palette snowman all right which one of these? Let's see which one fits where. That one fits on there. They each have their own head. <laughs> if I have them the right way. Okay, they each have their own head. This one has that scarf there.
This one has a scarf here. And then you have your hat brims. Isn't this really cute? It is really cute. All right, that one I think goes on there. They all have, they all have a place to go. There, it's all marked on here. The thing they have with the picture on here that it it knows what way to go. It's like a puzzle. And we got one of the pieces of the scarf. Heart on him. And there. They each have a nose. Are you liking it? I do have fun with these. I can't wait to paint it. So in each, we have all these little star buttons. I hope I'm gonna be able to hold this up to show you. Look at these star buttons. And then we have snowflakes. Let's put the big one on him, little one on him, little one on him. I think that's everything. <laughs> Aren't there a lot of pieces? But look at how cute they are. They're adorable. And you get this background too and everything. So that's super cute. I love this one. So... I saw a thing pop up on here, something with the iOS software and uh, reactions are now available. But I always thought they were when you guys react. Or like when I do this, isn't that, when I do that, does that still work? That still works. Reactions are now enabled on iOS 17. Hmm, I don't know what that means. So, those, this is what I'm going to come on live later and do. These other ones, these two are already in there. The other two, this one I'll be putting in shortly. I'm going to eat something first. But this is from today. So Dollar Tree palette, snowman, mini snowman. Turned out super, super cute. So, all right. Maybe we'll catch you guys all later. Um, I don't know if it'll be later this afternoon or tonight when I do that one, but. Yeah, I'll come on and do that one live because I think it'll be really cute. I'm anxious to get it done. So, all right, you guys have a good one.